Hey everyone, Toby from AbletonDrama.com here. I have a few new Max for Life devices for you, which are grabbing and remapping automations. So let me show you one example. Maybe you're playing live and you have a reverb for different song sections or for different songs even and you want sometimes in a live situation you want to say well actually this room needs a little bit more uh, of this special reverb or this particular effect and you might want to change the dry and wet but not in every song and you don't want to break the automation you just want to add a little bit or maybe decrease the reverb a little bit so for example we have a um, reverb effect here and the dry and wet is set automations are set to 30 percent 60 percent and 85 percent so um you want to be able to say on the well actually tonight i want a little bit more of reverb so what you need to do is you need to copy this whole automation here and command c and let's leave this maybe on here and then select the device remap and change automation which is one of four devices included in this pack and you want to put this to the um, automation lane here for input so that's a parameter you need to select and now you can copy that one in here and you can see it looks a bit different the scaling is different and we can see this here yeah so it's the same movements but in a much bigger scaling here already so what we want to do now is we want to change and remap the reverb button here so we're gonna take the select the map button and select the dry and wet um, button here and this will automatically override the written automation in here if we play this so you can see this is now deactivated so actually to make things nicer we could delete the whole reverb dry and wet reverb stuff here because it's now controlled by the automation in parameter here let's select this so we can see this so this copied automation in this track is now controlling the dry and wet so we can see that here if we're in different parts of the set 30 percent now it's 60 percent if we go back to this part here we are on 85 percent yeah okay so we can now add a little bit uh here and it's all the scaling is in midi so the scaling is from 0 to 127 so 128 steps so that's why the numbers are a little bit different here now and let's say we want to push this by 10 values so now um the 30 percent now are pushed to 38 percent and back here oops i didn't want to add this new automation in here the different uh scaling here is being pushed a bit up as well and in the back you can see it's even pushed up further here so it's a rescaling of your automation you need to copy the original automation to the automation in parameter of this device and then you are able live to set different um pushing the automation for a few values or decreasing them as well so obviously sometimes you could get into some sort of limitation here where is that said like well actually i don't want to i don't want this value to go over a certain um i want this param i don't want this parameter to go over a certain value so you could set a uh, limit here for the minimum and for the maximum out okay so let's have a look on the next device which is the remap automations via curve so the scaling works a little bit different here in a much nicer visual way so uh, let's say we have um, um, automation here of changing from 10 to 15 to 20 and i map this to the automation input here of the device so you need to select remap automation via curve and then input and so you can see when i'm playing here that the automation in changes re reflecting where your um, song marker is here so it's now going from 10 15 20 so i could map this value now 
for example, to a reverb again. So, and this will control the reverb depending on where you are in your set. So you can see the values for the dry and wet here are changing. So if you want this to be rescaled different, you can now say, well, actually, I want those values to be scaled a little bit more crazy here. You can go into the device, you can draw curves, you can change, add more points um, and do a different scaling in here. And this is actually now happening or what's actually happening now you get the values in and the values out set different here so um, those values are being now rescaled via a curve so let's say you have already automations which you want to grab from a device and then remap so you can send values to a different parameter so just for showing purposes here let's take uh, an automation on the dry and wet Let's say this one is going down from around 66, 69 to zero. So this is the automation here happening now. The dry and wet from the reverb is being turned down. So you can grab this automation now um, via selecting map, then select the parameter. So this is now going in here and you could remap this parameter to a second parameter. You could remap this automation to a second parameter. So let's take the diffuse here. It, musically, that doesn't make sense, but for showing purposes, this is great. So now the dry and wet automation is being grabbed and remapped to the diffuse parameter and changing accordingly. So if you want to change this, so let's say maybe, yeah, I want the diffuse to go down, but not that much. You could change the whole uh, scaling here. Let's do it like this, for example. Let's play it again. And you can see the parameters are now very different. It's still going down, but the scaling is different here yeah and you can add more points if you need to if this should go up in the end like this for example you can be very flexible here and you can do the same with the grab and remap change automation here just by adding a few points so if you don't want this to be done via a curve let's do the same here again automation in let's select the dry and wet and let's map this out to the diffuse and now it's the same values, but you might want to push this a little or you want to decrease this a little, you know, so it's now following the same curve or this it's a um, it's a logarithmical curve. Now it's actually not a curve. It's just a straight scaling. So you can grab and remap those parameters easily here if you need to just want to maybe quickly in production here like maybe let's have this this uh, dry and wet going up on a few more parameters you could just quickly grab and remap this information here just to check out and then if you like it leave it in or just get rid of it one way of changing automation obviously you could copy the automation here as well but with the whole scaling with the whole uh, curve you get much better control um, especially if you want to change stuff live here for example this could be a really cool a really cool tools okay uh, check them out there is a link in the video description maybe that's something for you if not have a look on my homepage. there are quite a few um max for life devices for you to check out okay cheers